Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can make a book with Squibbler. In order to do so, here we are at squibbler.io and we're all logged in. So that's the first thing you're going to want to make sure you do. And once you do, there are a few things we can take a look at before we get started. First off, here we have templates and we can use templates to get started. You can see Depending on the kind of book that you want to write, we have different options here. General fiction, fan fiction, romance, fantasy, mystery, self-help, memoir, biography. We have scripts, adventure scripts, comedy scripts, horror scripts. So whatever it is that you might be interested in doing, you can go ahead and select that. Now, in my case, what I went ahead and did was I selected, let's go ahead and go to the home option here before we move on. And we can see that this is where we have our projects. And if you're on the free version, then you're only going to be able to have one project. So we've got here a historical fiction novel that uh, I've started. And if we click on that, then it's going to open up here to this page. This is more or less what you're going to see now. What you have here on the left hand side, you have the different parts of your story. I had to delete. Uh, there is a part four and five. I deleted that because it says here that we only have 12 of 15 files left before it was something like 20 out of 50 files left. So I went ahead and deleted part four and part five to make room. And what we find is if we start writing, then on the left hand or rather the right hand side here you're going to have a couple of options we have the auto option and we have the guided option and so let's take a look at the way that the auto function works first so here we have begun our story and then we got to a certain point this is where i started using the auto feature and you can see that in blue this is where squibbler has generated more of the story so i started out with the story and then from here got to this point i think we need to move that down there that turned uh changed the color there um but this then continued the story where i was I basically started things off and then it continued from there. So we hit the right option. And then what happens is you're going to get a couple of options that you can choose from. And if you like those options, then you can select them and bring them over. And that's what I've done. Now I'm going to show you here what happens if we hit right again. You're going to see that we do have only a certain amount that we can do on the free plan. It's enough to get you going. It's enough to uh, um, show you how things work. But if you do want to use it, it does offer a three day trial. But then from there, you are going to have to pay the monthly subscription. We have the annual, which you could save 45% on right now that works out to about $16 a month. And then you have the monthly, which is $29 a month. So you are going to need to pay for the subscription. If you really are going to get anything out of this, um, you can play around with it and get an idea for how it's going to work. But unfortunately you only have so much you can do. So let's go ahead and take a look at the guided option. And from here, first thing is you want to make sure that your cursor is where it needs to be. And then with the guided option, you are going to add your prompt so that you're very specific about what it is that you are looking for. Then from here, we also have a few options. We have elements. So if you want to write in a certain style, then we have these uh, elements here. Um, haven't played around with that too much, so I'm not entirely sure exactly what it's going for there, but that gives you something to take a look at. It is optional. Then from here, we have the creativity level. You can raise that up. You can lower it down depending on how creative you want the AI to be, how many risks you want it to take. And uh, then from here, we have the tone. If we select this, you can see that humorous, serious, sarcastic, optimistic, objective. So depending on the tone that you're looking for, you can choose something there. Then also we have the narrative perspective. So we have first person, third person, omniscient, stream of consciousness, epistolary, 
multiple perspectives interactive. And then from there, what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that you have your cursor where it needs to go. And also we want to add our prompt. Uh, so let's say, Edmund's book. Let's just say something like that. Then you can see that the right button here is going to light up and then we can click that and it will give us our two options, which we can then bring over if we want to do that. So that gives you an idea just to get started of how you can write a book with Squibbler. And if we take a look here at part one, part two, part three, if we click that, then you can see that we have different chapters. So you have right now up to chapter 12. And of course, as I said, we did have part four and five, but I removed those. However, it still appears that we are going to run into that limitation. So just be aware of that. But if you are interested in using Squibbler to write your own book, then these are the basic steps that you can take in order to do that. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you are interested in Cider AI, Cider is an extension that you can add to your Chrome browser and it just fits nicely here in the corner. You can see here this little icon. If I click on that, Cider opens up and now we have access to an AI chatbot. We can ask whatever questions we may wish. And also, if you click on this icon here, we can switch the model and you can see that not only do we have the Cider Fusion model, but we also have ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, DeepSeek, all of the major chatbots that you may want to have access to. And this is just an incredible tool, allows you to be able to compare responses from the different major chatbots, and that can really help with your research, with anything that you might need to find out more about having that close by at all times is really nice. If you look in the description, there is a link. If you click on that link, then you would be helping us out and we would certainly appreciate it.